what's going on guys welcome back to clash rack guys the summer 2020 update is here and we've been stockpiling tons of magic items we have max capacity of almost every single item here except for the book of everything we have hammers that are off cooldown so as soon as we spend these ones we can immediately pick up more and we're going to see how far we can get into the town hall 13 new upgrades and we're gonna go max out some troops and then we're gonna go take them out into some fights and we're gonna go test out some strategies that we've kind of been uh, itching to do and see how they do so guys make sure the like button hit the subscribe button and also i'm gonna do a live stream later tonight if you guys want to come hang out then uh go down in the description of the video click on that link for twitch and for trovo and uh follow up and i'll see you guys there all right let's go dive in this all right, let's do this. So where do we even start? There is a lot here. We have wizard tower levels, dark barracks. We have cannons. We have hero levels. We have the spring trap. Now, I feel like I should just get that spring trap moving. I already dropped it. So we'll just uh, we'll upgrade it and that'll be done tomorrow. So yeah, that's got a handful of levels to go. So that's going to take a little while. So get that queued up right away and get it moving. All right. So we got a little bit of uh, gold here we can pick up. And now what? I guess we can get the barracks, right? We'll pick up the dark barracks. Well, let's upgrade that. It's actually relatively cheap. No, wait, 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 wait. I don't have a full discount right now. I haven't been like diligently working on my gold pass here, but I have all the challenges available. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go do a whole bunch of builder base attacks here. And I'm going to go complete all of the builder base challenges. And that should hopefully get me some percentage discounts to all of my buildings here. At least grab that 15% so I'm not wasting loot. You know what I mean? And then I think before we even touch our heroes, I got to go out and do some random attacks here. And collect some more Dark Elixir because I didn't come into this very prepared. I have tons of hammers. I got tons of Rune of Dark Elixir. But I need to spend what I already have before I start... Like, wasting. I don't want to spend, like, a Rune of Dark Elixir right now because that would be a huge waste. Like, what does the king cost compared to the queen? Like, they both got to go five levels here. So, the king... Where is he? There he is. So, the king and the queen cost exactly the same. So, it doesn't matter which one we do. We'll uh, give preference to the queen here. But we don't want to use our hammers until we're already through a couple levels. And then we'll see where we stand. And real quick, might as well check out what's in the shop here, right? What is this? The Clashy Construction Scenery Pack? Oh man, there's some good offers here. Times seven, times six, times five. Guys, we got some good offers here with some decorations and stuff added in. Like a whole map of decorations? You gotta be kidding me. I mean, I'm definitely gonna have to pick that up there. I gotta pick all of them up, I think. Only a couple bucks here. Yeah, we're definitely gonna pick that up. But notice right up in the top right corner by the X, there's no creator code entered right now. So I'm gonna go into the bottom of my settings tab. I'm gonna type in creator code Eric to make sure that I'm uh, supporting a creator. I can support myself, right? <laughs> if you guys wanna support me as well, then do that. But make sure you got somebody enter. Make sure you have somebody in there no matter what. So I guess I'm gonna pick up the Clashy Instruction Scenery Pack there first, and then we'll get the other ones here in just a moment. All right, there we go. <laughs> we got it. So purchase is successful. And there we go. Special offer received. We get the gold and elixir. Not really going to have any use for that just yet. But uh, we'll be spending that in just a moment. But let's switch over here and let's check out the Clashy Constructs scenery set here. Oh, that's a cool effect. Oh, man. Look at this. Whoa, look at this. They built a little mill and a mine out of the waterfall. Oh, man, that is awesome. There's a whole little town around us. Wow. Guys, that is... That's cool. That's... We even got a little port. <laughs> oh my god, I love this. I love this. That's awesome. That's incredible, guys. Wow, that just puts a whole new look on my uh, base here, right? I wonder if it changes to war bases, too. Like, let's go look at a war base. Let's go... Pull up a random one here and let's uh let's just see if that changes well summer update has arrived why did that pop up on this screen oh no go back go back go back all right um no it doesn't change the war screen here but yeah that's all right you want to copy of that grab a copy of it screenshot it quick all right too late too late <laughs> maybe i'll throw a link for it in the video description all right so yeah let's let's um We'll buy some more packs in a minute, but I'm going to go do some builder base uh, attacks here and get some gold pass points. 
All right, there's a lot few builder-based challenges than I thought there were. So we got the 15% boost there, and that'll get us started. Can't get the builder potion yet, but we'll go over here, and we'll see if we can get this going. So I guess to start it off, we need to upgrade our dark barracks. Where's my dark barracks? Right here. All right, so let's upgrade the dark barracks, and then we'll use our hammer buildings on actual, like, defenses because they're a lot more expensive. Like, this is pretty fast here, and we have some books to deal with that. So we'll grab the book there. We want to get one of those. I'll probably upgrade the other one normal. I don't need a lot of headhunters, so there's no point in uh, rushing the other one. We'll probably leave that as a lower priority, and uh, we'll just have our new headhunters here. So I guess we got to upgrade them, right? We can upgrade some other buildings as well, or some other troops, I should say. Like, how much does it cost here to get this uh, headhunter leveled up here? It's a Dark Elixir troop. Actually, you know what? Maybe I don't need to go farm Dark Elixir. I can just get the headhunter. I can use it up with that. Wait, wait, wait how much do I have? 235,000. And my upgrades here cost... Oh, I kind of want that Lava Hound, right? We got Lava Hounds. We got Golems. Obviously, the Lava Hound, because Lalo with dragons... And, I mean, there's just so many possibilities there with Lalo. And I have, right, I have like, the perfect amount here. So, we're going to pick that up there. We're going to grab the Lava Hound. I'm just going to use up my Dark Elixir so I can start popping runes of Dark Elixir. And we'll just use a hammer of, excuse me, a book of, of uh, fighting on it. Now we've expended all of it. Now, I feel like we need to... Ooh, how do we want to do this? Like, can I get both of the, the Headhunter upgrades with, like, one Root of Dark Elixir? And how many books do I have? Oh, wait, we got more in here. We got more in here. So let's actually pick this up here. And we do have code Eric in right there, as you can see, supporting Eric. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to have a little bit of overflow here. Oh, no, wrong button, wrong button. There we go. So we have a couple extra magic items here. We have two Book of Heroes, and we got some extra Dark Elixir runes. So we have three Dark Elixir runes now. We can definitely do some with that. Let's uh, pop one of them right now. I keep hitting the wrong button. It's right where the magic item button used to be. So I like keep on like clicking there right when I open the town hall just by habit, you know? All right, so there we go. We got max dark elixir. All right, so I'm trying to think of the most efficient way to spend my dark elixir here. So I'm going to place down this new building here. We're going to park it right into this little uh, alleyway here around my town hall with all the cool decorations there. And uh, let's go ahead and let's actually upgrade some wizard towers. I feel like the wizard towers are the best defensive upgrade here. And we're just going to pop some... Some hammers here and we're gonna get some of those done so we'll do that we'll go into the shop here and we'll pick up another hammer building and we will get another wizard tower done so that takes care of some of those oh not not a regular upgrade do the hammer heroes there we go instantly done we got two of those done now i guess we can do another one with just uh with just gold right and we can pop a book of building on it let's do that gold and oh i don't have any wait Oh, I used to book a building on the on the barracks. That's right. All right, so now we just have an awkward amount of gold, but I have some in here. So we're going to grab that, and I think that's enough to get two walls. It's not quite enough to get an upgrade, but we'll grab two walls, and then we'll use a uh, root of gold in there, and we'll get, a, we'll get a little bit more. So actually, we have a whole bunch of uh, wall rings here, and we'll use them as well. So we'll pop there and there. And actually, one of my... Uh, challenges here is to upgrade a bunch of walls and I haven't been able to work on that one either because all my walls were already maxed we got an extra 50 now so we can definitely get some of them done so we'll use all these wall rings I think I have enough for four walls there six a pop that's so crazy expensive but I guess each wall ring is uh about six million gold worth right so now we can pop a rune of gold oh I keep doing that I keep doing that all right rune of gold there we go all right so now let's get some research going well, I feel like we should get the baby dragons done. Just get them out of the way here. We'll just uh, use elixir on them. And we will use a uh, book of fighting. Man, what do I do here? Well, let's get my queen upgrading. Because I feel like that is a big priority here. So we'll send her up. Boom. And we'll use a uh, book of heroes on her. Alright, so that gets us started. Now, do I waste the 50,000 dark elixir here? And just go straight for another queen upgrade? Or do I delay... Ugh. Should we just do it? I feel like we should just do it, right? Let's just max out my queen. All right, let's just. Ugh. All right, let's just do it. 
Let's use the Rune of Dark Elixir here. I'm just gonna eat the 50,000 there. And I wish I could like activate a Super Trooper, find something to do with that, but it's the awkward amount of Dark Elixir at this level. And I don't really have a use for it right now without farming a ton. So we're just gonna pop this. We're just gonna lose out on 50,000 Dark Elixir. It sucks, but it's all right. We're gonna get the heroes along nicely here. Let's do another level for my queen. And then we will uh, pop another Another uh, book of heroes, and I guess from here, we'll do hammers. So we're down to the last couple levels here, starting to get expensive, so we'll use a hammer of heroes, and then we'll go and pick up another hammer of heroes, and we'll grab another one. So, all right. Boom. All right, so level 74. Now, we'll probably just let her sit there for a little while, and next week, I'll upgrade her again with another hammer of heroes, unless there's something in here that I can... Use the upgrader now. No, I'm not going to have enough Dark Elixir. I'm not going to have enough Dark Elixir. So, we will pick these up, though. So, let's grab them. I mean, they're pretty good deals, right? Three bucks for a book of building and a couple builder potions. It's definitely going to move me along nicely. But this uh, summer special is looking pretty good as well. So, two book of everythings and a book of spells. Do I need... Oh, wait. I have lightning spells. I got to upgrade my lightning spell. So, I definitely want that. All right, can't turn back now. Can't turn back now. We are supporting Code Eric, <laughs> and we have a ton of loot now. So let's go get some more buildings upgrading. We can get another two wizard towers, I guess. We can actually finish one of them immediately with the book of building we just got. So we'll do that. We'll grab another wizard tower, and that should uh, put us pretty low on the loot there for gold. I don't know if we're going to be able to get much more than that. I uh, think I'm out of out of ruins here. I keep why do I keep it in the seat It's right in the wrong spot there. It's right where my other button used to be. All right, so research lightning Relatively cheap here. This is actually really cheap. So we're gonna grab that and we'll use uh That and then we'll uh, do it again. I Got tons of these uh Runes for that so that makes it really easy or not runes. Um books i have tons of book of spells so i think we used up a handful of them there but we can still keep going what do we got left i could do oh man okay 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 i was gonna say that we're gonna do the golem because it's more expensive but i feel like we're just gonna do the headhunter we're just gonna hammer the headhunter <laughs> all right there we go and one more to send her to max one more to send her to max right there and there we go maximum level headhunter we just have the golem left so that one i'm not in a rush to get it i don't know the golems are going to be a big part of the meta they did get the upgrade but we'll just have to wait and see and if they do turn out to do something amazing then we'll pick them up later all right so i still have some hammer spells so we're going to go and use one of those hammers right here to pick up the new clone spell. Now, I don't know how useful it's going to be, but what else am I going to spend my hammers on? Because that's the last spell. So we're done there. Now what? So I forgot I picked up the extra Rune of Dark Elixir. So we're actually going to pop that now. And I probably should have done it before I used the hammers on the queen here. But we have a book of everything now. So let's go ahead and finish the queen right now. Let's max her out. There we go. And there we go. Queen going to max level. We used the book of everything on her. And we are done with our queen. A couple minutes after the update went live. And she is done. That's awesome. Now we just got to get that king moving. Next we'll do a rune of elixir. And we're actually going to get some more magic guys for my gold pass here. As soon as we get a little bit further along. What else we got in here? We got another Rune of Dark Elixir. We can use that for my king and a couple book of heroes. So we're definitely gonna be able to push him along there on our way to unlock the Clockwork Warden or Clockwork Queen skin, I mean. And we can actually, now that we have the elixir, we can get one of our last elixir upgrades. Like, like they keep on hiding from me here. I didn't even I forgot the archer was a thing there. So we're gonna do her, and I think we're just gonna wait her out there. I don't think we're gonna rush that one. And then we'll eventually start working on all these these uh, siege machines right the golem and siege machines that are are all that's left so that'll that won't be too long let's assess what we have left for magic items here and i think we, we're done with all the spells so we can't do anything with those they just keep on piling up there i get them faster than i can use them they just like get tossed in with other offers and i never have a use for them my spells are always instantly max kind of annoying but it's a good problem to have you know all right so we have a ton of builder potions 
And we have a book of everything still. So I don't think there's anything we can do with that. We need more loot. So I suppose the only logical thing to do from here is buy some gold because why not? I got tons of uh, metals here and I get them faster than I can use them. So why don't we uh, just go ahead and pick that up? How much is that? Is that up to get a cannon? It is enough to get a cannon. So we'll get some cannons moving here and we'll get that out of the way. I guess we can get the other dark barracks moving, right? We have enough, a uh, little bit overflow elixir there. So we'll just grab that. Why not? And I, I know I said that I wasn't going to do it earlier, but I mean, we had the perfect amount of loot for us. So let's just get it. Now I'm going to leave the rest of it open so I can get this king upgrading. We're just going to go crazy. We're just going to leave one builder available to pour all the golden elixir into walls and we'll get that king up king upgrading as soon as possible. So I think that's as far as we're going to get right now, unless we, uh, up a whole bunch of these. Yep, that's happening. <laughs> should we just use them all? I feel like we should just use them all, right? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. How much does it give us? That is, where is it, where is it? Builder hut, all right, so that gives us eight hours, 80 hours, so that's gonna shave off three days off of the time here, and uh, that that's not bad, that's not bad. We'll actually be able to pick up some more in the in the shop here but i feel like we're probably not going to get any more builder potions here i think we're not going to get any more gold i think we're all set with what we want we'll uh grab should we grab the hammer of uh, spells there like do we need that off cooldown when is the next time we're gonna run out of spell books and need a hammer of spells i guess we should just pick it up we'll just grab it you know we'll just grab it and last but not least we got to use all of our research potions so we have five of them so we'll just get all that research going and get these archers upgraded a little bit faster and that's going to give us uh, five days of research in the next couple hours. So that's about as far as we can get. I think we've done everything that we could do that makes sense. Maybe a couple things that didn't make sense, like uh, wasting 150,000 Dark Elixir using Dark Elixir runes when I wasn't able to use it all. So it's all right. Let's go farm. Let's go get some loot here. Let's finish up some more of these uh, clan games. Or not clan games. Clan games are coming soon. Some more of the gold pass. And let's go see if we can finish some of these challenges. And uh, get some more discounts. And get this king moving as soon as possible. Alright, so let's pick up a trading potion here. Let's pop it. And we're going to go take the headhunters out. Now, the thing that I want to play with is queen charge hogs. Mass hogs here. With the new headhunters. Now, the biggest uh, downfall of hogs is... You couldn't fight through heroes very well. Only the Royal Champion is able to fight through heroes on the back side of the base. But now that we have the Headhunters, we can send them in with the Royal Champion. We can use the Ward ability to protect not only the Hogs, not only the Royal Champion, but also protect the Headhunters. And we can go and get some serious damage here with this army. And I'm looking forward to it. So let's go take it right out and we'll have some more ready in just a second. So I'm going to go find a Max Town All-13 and hopefully it's got some big loot and we'll go take him down. All right, here's the Max base. We have Heroes Awake. This guy looks like he's already used a couple of hammers to get his queen moving. We'll see if he has a CC. So we're going to let the headhunters deal with the queen. Sound good? Let's charge right at the top of the base here. Let's deal with the CC, take out the king, and then we'll go from there. We'll probably charge. Let's uh, charge on the right, or we'll go to the right of this uh, compartment right here. We'll send in the queen. Okay, Poke Balloon. Healers on that side of her. Get a baby dragon on the other side. Black mine, of course. Let's get a rage down for this queen. And let's use the king up ahead. Now, the nice part about using a queen charge hogs is it frees up my king. So now my queen can go in here. We can super wall break her in. And we can get her in there. All right, so let's do this. Let's send in a hog to go to snipe out that archer tower because I don't think anything else can hit the hog there. And the, it's being tanked by the queen, so that works out nice. He can pop his ability. He can get in. All right, so I just want to see what... Oh, get out of... No, King! Don't steal the healers! All right, he's coming back, but... I don't like that he's uh, trying to steal the healers here. Let's uh, rage up here. Let's rage the King and the Queen and the healers and get that air defense down quick. All right, he's just got one of them. He's got one, and he's going to go march off to his death there. So that's fine. That's fine. We're going to lose one healer out of it. We'll be just fine with that. Let's go with the uh, another rage for the Queen in a second. Now, because we're just fighting two scatter shots, let's send in the siege barracks up here, and let's send in hogs. And in the heroes. Oh, I just popped my royal champion ability like right away. We're just gonna delay the other 
I'll freeze that. Save that queen. Heal here. And we'll get ready for, um, when he whizzes down. I forget that I don't click percentage very fast. The heal here. Warden. Okay. Send these girls in. Oh! Crap! I sent him in from the flank there and I need to send him in from the back. Let's, uh, heal or freeze the Inferno, I guess. We got the healers, uh, the queen ended up dying over there. That's all right. We get through. We, <laughs> that was sloppy. That was really sloppy. Let's get a wizard and a balloon down there. Yeah, I, uh, got the queen down. The royal champion took her down, so in... I definitely, I'm gonna need some practice here with the headhunters to figure out exactly how to deploy them properly. But oh, where's that P.E.K.K.A going? Let's see if we can get that P.E.K.K.A back in action. I'll pop that poison down here. We're still gonna get the triple. The hogs definitely could do the job there and they got it done. My spell placement was garbage. My uh, queen charge was decent. I didn't have to deal with the CC, so I didn't really need to poison, but I would have been under a low damage area there. Anyways, I think we're gonna get that regardless. And we got ourselves our first triple. Not bad, right? No CC troops, but either way, we got it. You know, I just realized that I had more books and stuff sitting in my uh, gold pass that I already got. So, you know, we can collect a lot of this. Not all of it, but I can get the training potion. Oh, maybe I can't. Maybe I can't. Just pick some up there. But we can grab that and that. We can get some resource potions. Oh, maybe we got to use them. Maybe we gotta use the resource potions. I guess we can just like get five days of uh boosted. Sure. We're gonna we're gonna use it for something, right? Might as well just like uh, get it out of the way there. And uh we'll use another builder potion. Why not? Alright, how about we do this one here? We have an exposed queen with an air defense over here. So we can send in my Royal Champion and Ice Golem and my headhunter to go there. I can do a Sui hero to the town hall on the other side, and then we get dragons right in between, zap out the back side air defenses. Let's do that. So we'll go. Pro champion, headhunter. Okay. That should get us in there. Let's get a baby dragon down behind, and let's go do the Sui hero. Let's go with the king. Go with, um,. We'll wait for the king to start walking that direction. I want him to go in, right? We only got one super wall breaker, so we may not get the town hall out of it, but it'll be all right. Oops. Pull him in there. Get the super wall breaker down. We can step in, pop that king ability. Okay. So far, so good. Let's send in Ice Golem. Night Hunter. We can get these heroes down. He's tanking. So far, so good. All right, we got the funnel formed on the other side there yet. Looks like it's mostly formed. And a couple of minions here to finish it off. While the queen finishes working way in. And let's send in dragons. We'll go right to the town hall. I'm going to go for a little bit longer there. And some balloons. Then in the uh, stone slammer, probably on the left flank. Or right flank, I mean. Get a rage down here for the town hall. To freeze it, because that's a lot of damage right there. Get ready for uh, Warden. Go for the Town Hall. There we go. Perfect. Close timer. Three. Oh, no. Siri. No. Bad time, Siri. Let's get a Rage down in the middle. Let's uh, freeze up this Inferno and the Scatter here. And let's see if that's enough to get through. Well, I don't know why Siri's going off here. Like, not now, Siri. Not, not now. We don't got time for you. We don't got time for you. Looks like we're doing pretty well here. Dragons are starting to dwindle down a little bit. You have one uh, wizard tower over there under construction, but that's not really going to affect anything. Those blues can get through that bottom wizard tower. Now we're just going to circle back around here. Everything's going to have to regroup and we'll work our way into the expo and the arch tower. We're going to take some damage all the way around here, unfortunately. We didn't get the, the pathing directly into it and all the dragons broke to the trash on the outside. So I hope we have enough here. Getting some red mines in the bottom. Man, if we come on, just go get the expos. Man, that's the problem with dragons, right? If they get onto the trash, it takes them forever to get back. And if they're taking hits all the way in, it can be a really big problem. Luckily, they have a large health pool and they can they can try to work their way in. So hopefully they can get onto it. There it goes. Finally lock onto it. Doesn't have enough health to get it. No, it doesn't. Hey. Hey. 
<laughs> All right, well, we may not get this one here. It is very, very close here. It was a little bit uh, a little bit chaotic like dragons tend to be, but 95%, not, uh, not bad for just starting into the strategy here and just getting a feel for it, but we did pretty good there. I feel like if we had a second super wall breaker, we could have got the queen to take the town hall. That would have freed up the rage, or not the rage, uh, the ward ability to be used somewhere else. And we definitely could have done a little bit better there. And uh, I need to disable Siri. So, <laughs> all right, guys. I think this is we're going to wrap it up for today. We're going to do a live stream later tonight. So join me in a couple hours after the launch of this video, probably around 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we'll kick off the live stream. We'll go uh, play around with the the new troops and the new zap spell and we'll do some friendly challenges with the new super troops so it's gonna be fun come join me make sure, make sure the like button hit the subscribe button don't forget to use code eric and remember always look for that little symbol up in the corner there to make sure you have somebody supported otherwise uh you don't help anybody and supercell just gets to take all the money <laughs> so make sure you got somebody in there all right guys that's it for me take it easy i'll see you in the next one